things that will be discussed in the video will be the battery, the display, the performance, the speaker quality, the competitors of this machine, uh, Apple student discount, the price at which you can get this device. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So this video is going to be about my MacBook M1 that I purchased, I guess, in September mid. Uh, it's been almost almost six months. So I think I'm in the right place to give a review about if you should purchase this as a student uh, or not. So before I start, if you are a new viewer, I would like to quickly introduce myself. Myself, Ayush Kumar. I am pursuing my master's here at Arizona State University. The primary usage of this machine to me has been like for basic schoolwork, like homeworks, assignments, for video, photo editing, yes. Uh, video editing is something that pushes this one to its limits. Uh, photo editing is also to the point very crisp obviously coding and stuff because that is what I am into. So things that will be discussed in the video will be the battery, the display, the performance, the speaker quality, the competitors of this machine, uh, Apple student discount, the price at which you can get this device. So without wasting any further time, let's get straight to the video. Talking about the best thing that I feel about this laptop is the battery. Like I charge my phone in the morning, I charge my laptop in the morning, my phone is about 20% at 8 p.m. 8:30 p.m. This 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 laptop is still at 40, 42, 38%. So this runs more than my lap, more than my phone. So you can have an estimate that how good the battery is. Like I have written also that it just runs for 12 to 14 hours easily, more than my iPhone. So yeah, it's that way. It's not like that. I. Uh, just watch videos or surf internet no it's not like that i i am a heavy multitasker this machine handles all of it very smoothly by giving optimum performance on the battery now talking about the display the display is 25 uh, 25 16 to 1600 which is more than what normal 16 is to 9 ratio laptops offer like uh, they are 1920 into 1080 so this has more resolution the display is very crisp. The color accuracy is also very nice. Just to let you guys know, I was using Dell G3 in the past. Uh, I find myself very fortunate that I upgraded to this machine. It has just taken my all of the all of the things that I did to a level above, I would say. Now talking about performance, uh, this laptop has an Apple M1 chip which does not heat like i remember when i was purchasing the dell g3 people were suggesting me that one heats a lot this that what not but i have been using this i feel that i am a heavy editor i i i edit videos in 4k 60 i edit photos high resolution raw photos i do multitasking so i have i think i have put this machine to its limits than what a normal student would do so the M1 chip is very nice. It, it's very smooth. I have to be to be very honest. I have not seen this the loading symbol on my laptop till now. So you can understand when I edit 4K 60 and I don't see that how good would it would this be. So the speaker quality is also awesome. There are two speakers over here. Although the pro version offers somewhere here right now, I think. Although I don't remember exactly. The left speaker and the right, right speaker are so perfectly tuned that it feels like you have two physical speakers installed on your desk. Like one here and one here. So it's that way. Talking about the competitors, like the Dell XPS, I've heard of it. Uh, it's lightweight, obviously, but uh, I feel <laughs> there's one thing that I feel Windows laptops lack is that when you start to use it on battery, they don't give the same amount of performance that an Apple laptop does. Like if the performance is here on a Windows laptop, when the cable is plugged in, then it deteriorates to this point when you unplug the cable. That means it needs constant electricity supply to, to, to have the optimum performance that it can offer. But it's not the case in this laptop. If you use it at battery, if you use with cable, no matter what, it gives you the best performance. So that has been my, my observation. I've been using both in the past six months. So yeah, uh, talking about the price, right now it's being sold at 750 to $900, it varies. I've seen uh, it at 750 during the Black Friday sales. Even in, I think during the New Year's, I saw it at 750. 
so i got it for 830 or something including the apple care plus uh, which i got for 3 years uh, i got it for 959 and uh, it was a pretty good deal i feel so if you want to get the apple uh, education discount you can uh, use your college id or use your school id make a account on the apple website uh, from there you can order your laptop or maybe go to the store get it so this is what it is i wanted to share with you guys um i i i feel that uh, this machine is an absolute beast although some sometimes i feel that i would have if i would have got pro version like the macbook pro it would have been better for me but no worries like it's 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 very good right now yeah this is what i wanted to share with you guys so in the next videos i have planned few uh, things which they are very informative to be honest you will love them so We'll see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye-bye.